Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So that little trailer there was absolutely brilliant. Of course it's teasing Gad's skull, but the way they did it right at the end, it was the Marakai. He's basically like his little banner bearer, like it was his reveal rather than Gaz's skull's reveal. But if you look closely at the trailer, we got to see the claw. Um, the, the kind of pose, I think, from, from what I saw from that is, is kind of action -er. Like he's like about to swing that claw and rip some bloody chap's head off. Uh, the rumor image with the whole backpack was confirmed to be part of Gaz Skull as well. So there we have it. Gaz Skull is definitely coming for the Orc players. There we go, Orcs. You, we finally have something character-wise for you that's coming, and I'm sure that is going to be dropping um, in the saga of the Beast uh, Psychic Awakening phase. Um, I, I think it's amazing. I, I really do. I just can't wait to see his bloody model now. I think it's going to be a massive, massive reveal once they show that off. I was kind of hoping that they would show off um, Ragnar as well, because he's been rumoured to come along uh, with Gaz Skull. And, um, well, one of the main rumours is, is that um, Gaz Skull and Ragnar are supposed to be in a box set with each other. And, you know, that's going to be like the next big thing for the Psychic Awakening. But there's no sign of Ragnar at all. So far, all we have is, is Mac, his banner, and, of course, Gaz Skull coming with that massive bloody core ready to take someone's bloody head off. Now, probably the biggest reveal of this whole event for Warhammer 40,000 wasn't Gad, well, of course it's Gaskell, that's a massive bloody reveal, even though we never saw him, but the biggest thing, really, like, model-wise, came from the Psychic Awakening, because we got confirmation now of the next Psychic Awakening book, which is going to be called Engine War, that's going to be coming, of course, after the ones that have already been announced, and this will feature Mechanicus, um, Knights, Demons, and Chaos Knights, so four factions in that book, we all wondered, you know, if um, Necrons would uh, go against the Mechanicus and stuff like that. Apparently not. It's got to be Mechanicus Knights, Demons, and Chaos Knights. And along with that, they dropped a new trailer, which I'm going to play right now. And there we go, that was the trailer, and we have a bunch of new AdMech models coming to the tabletop. It says here in the actual statement, that's right, the, ad, the, ad, uh, the Adeptus Mechanicus are set for the large deployment of reinforcements since they launched. We already know how great Skatari are, but do you know what would make them even better if they rode Cyber Beasts into battle? And what you see in the background now is some of the Cyber Beasts, and if you look closely, like the faces like have flavours. Um, they've got dual wielding pistols, one of them's melee with a pistol, you know, hit the head one's got a rifle with a pistol um, and the, the the next kind of um, screenshot that got released with him and um, you know it's swords pistols uh, you know it's everything so this was a, a kind of a shot bloody horse ad mech units with flavors for faces ready to purge eerie promethium and all that kind of you know awesome stuff it says another new unit you can look forward to is the paraxi um, I'm hopefully pronouncing that right. The Winch Cousins of the, of, of the Sicarians. Um, these Cyber Birdmen. Things don't look stunning. They're ideal support for your units for the Dexus Mechanicus roster. Capable of dropping in and picking off key targets whilst the rest of your troops advance. So they, these are like the kind of Birdmen kind of thing now with those kind of like 
Michelangelo wing design things. Um, it's it's very familiar to the new um, transport that you're going to be getting for the Admech as well. You know, like that kind of bird one that we saw. I'm thinking now, with 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 all these Admech units that are going to be dropping, um, are they going to be doing the box set for this one rather than um, something else? Because it seems that Admech are getting a ton of love when it comes to this Psychic Awakening phase. So maybe this will be like the big box set for you to buy rather than, you know, the so-called rumoured um, Space Wolf slash Orc box set, which we all keep talking about. But uh, again, these models look kind of funky, let's say. I'll, I'll always say I'm not a fan of the flight stands from GW. I hate them. Uh, mine always break off and stuff like that. Yes, I know you can magnetize it and stuff and do all that kind of funky stuff. But for me, yeah, I, I just don't like them. I'd rather just get like um, um, a, a steel rod. Do it stick it to the base and stick up one of their asses and stuff like that and so it just stays in place it's way more firm if you do it like that but tell me what you think about those models um i know a lot of people disliked um the ad mech flyer because of its whole wing thing so do these wing things still give you that dislike or do you think they actually go with these new um flying models when it comes to the ad mech and moving on to specialized games we have a brand new model for blackstone fortress zotes zotes are back well it says actually here it says zotes are back well one zote so zotes are coming to blackstone fortress for those of you who play blackstone fortress of course this is going to be like a new character hopefully you can can you play it, it says here for those of you wondering what the big green thing is in the picture above allow to explain back in the distant past of warmer 40,000, they were a race of strange creatures creatures who served the heralds for the tyrannid high fleets before disappearing seemingly forever we all assumed they had just been eaten no no they have not been eaten because they they are, do you know what i really like what they're doing with blackstone fortress like they're bringing some of the things that you thought were lost um like we had like the uh, uh, the cybermen and stuff like that well not the cybermen uh, the iron men cybermen is doctor doctor who um the, the iron men and of course zotes and stuff like that i, I really really like where they're going with this and um, hopefully we'll get to see even more stuff please gw more squats more squats more squats more squats but that's a really cool model i like it results in the new like fashioned how it all looks and um, hopefully maybe gw um this could be a new army to introduce to warmer 40,000 because i tell you what introduce the zotes and i will be zoting off my bloody head because i love them i think they're awesome awesome design awesome looking model please do more and some of the next big news is actually from Forge World itself. It says, we've got some great news if you're a Warhammer 40,000 player with Forge World models in your collection. Since the release of the Forge World indexes a couple of years ago, Warhammer 40,000 has changed a lot. While the indexes were a great reference source, we want to give you something even better, which is why Warhammer 40,000 Studio embarked on a project to bring you a series of all new books with updated rules for these units and armies. To make room for these new mysterious books, the Forge World indexes will be disappearing hearing um through the rules uh, but but sorry it says we'll be just hearing though the rules will remain um in use until the new books arrive we're letting you know and now so you get your chance to pick them up if you're missing any we'll have more news on this soon so that's that's a big thing indexes are disappearing and they're replacing it with something else is it just going to be like the warhammer studio team index of course are they going to be like jazzing up the rules nerfing things and um, bringing things down you know balancing and stuff like that a, a complete no idea but if you're a collector of the indexes then maybe you just want to go out and start collecting them now and stuff and add to your collection um it's probably, it's probably in my opinion it's probably not even worth buying them if they're if they're going to be like tossing them into the fire pile to be completely fair there's, there's just no point just let's just wait out and see what gw bring us and keeping on track with forge world they actually shown off a brand new character for the horrors heresy he actually says 2020 is definitely shaping up to be an amazing year for the age of darkness thanks to the release of the horrors heresy book nine crusade we've already seen some awesome models that are coming um in our road to framus series that's going to be the next book i can't wait for that hopefully lionel johnson please 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 I can't wait to see that bloody Pryback model. Uh, but that doesn't mean the Dark Angels and Night Lords are the only legions getting some love this year. Just check out Quinn Zar from the White Scar. So there he is in Terminator armor. You're looking all white scarish and bossy as you expect him to do with his nice little sword and stuff. Multiple helmet option. I kind of like his head. His head's like kind of that samurai kind of helmet kind of thing. Which, is, is that right? Because I thought White Scars are supposed to be Mongolian. Maybe they're, maybe they're more like asia base now rather than just like one um um one creed of like one kind of 
really well mongolians really religion you know what i mean like one kind of aspect of a certain part of asia maybe the incorporating all samurai mongolian everything like that but i think it's a cool model i really really like it um am i getting back into a horror series there a little bit at this stage i do have my custodies so um that does give me a gateway back in i just want to see what the road to framus opens up because um i am considering maybe making a small dark angel force because um i just want a bearded lionel johnson model because all the artwork i've seen from him looks absolutely incredible now of course the last big thing was the angels of death trailer but um i'm not going to post it in this video because i'm going to do a separate video of that because i want to break it down and go through scene by scene what i saw what's in there like little um, um spoiler well not really spoilers like easter eggs see if we can spot everything so if you want to check that video out i'll be uploading that as a separate video when it is up i'll post it in the the comment section down below and also um if you check the top right corner of this video and a little thing pops out that's telling you that um, um, the video is now live for my reaction on that, in case you're watching this, you know, a couple of hours after I've actually, you know, put this video out. But it's an, it's an amazing trailer. Go and check it out. Absolutely bloody... I, I can't wait. I cannot wait. I think this is the start of something massive when it comes to GW and doing films and stuff like that. Hopefully, they'll carry on and make more and more of this kind of awesome content. I want to see Guardsman films. I want to see animations. I want to see stuff in the horror heresy. I want to see stuff like... You know, it's just like Imperial Guard bayoneted things. There's, there's, there's so many stories to bloody tell. And they've got so much awesome stuff made from authors to make amazing animations and films and stuff like that. The, 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 the bloody... It, it, the world's the limit for them. The world's the limit. Good on, GW. Pump out more. This, for me, is your future of entertaining us. Please, please, more, 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 more. All right, Chaperunios, that is me done for another video. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching, as always. Um, I'll be back later on tonight, of course, with a live stream. Uh, we can go through all this together, get all your reactions, you know, outright and stuff like that. We can all lose our minds and do all the fun stuff, as we always do. Um, but I think it's been um, um, a pretty good um, a reveal. Um, there's some things which, of course, I'm a bit like, meh, like the Primaris blurred picture was one of the things I was really looking forward to. But of course, for me, I felt like this this main event was more dedicated to Age of Sigma because, of course, they they, they announced like that new um, elf race with Telix and stuff like that, and they and they do look really really nice. I'm, I have to give it to them; they look incredible. You know, I've got nothing against AOS at all, but when it comes to the model ranges and stuff like that, it, they they always completely knock it out of the park. Um, so yeah, I, I can understand why it wasn't very like Primaris there. Let's say this kind of one; it was more um the uh the age of sigma one but hey there we go let me know what you think about all the stuff that i've spoke about in the trailer today and we can have a nice little chat in the comment section down below see you now and bye, -bye.